Now the next question is let theta 1, theta 2 and theta 10 be positive valued angles such that z1 is e to the power iota theta 1 z2 is z1 into e to the power iota theta 2 which is e to the power iota theta 1 plus theta 2 in the same way z3 is z2 into e to the power iota theta 3 which is e to the power iota theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 3 and the same way we'll have z k plus 1 which is e to the power iota theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta k plus 1 and if we look at z 10 value of z 10 will be e to the power iota theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta 10 and we are given that this is 2 pi so it will be e to the power 2 pi and cos 2 pi is 1 so basically all these 10 points they lie on this unit circle and this is z10 and then we have z1 z2 z3 zk z9 and angle between them are theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 and theta 10 now if we look at zk plus 1 minus zk it will be e to the power i theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta k plus 1 minus e to the power iota theta 1 plus theta 2 plus theta k now we take mod sign then we can write this as mod of e to the power iota theta 1 plus theta 2 up to theta k into mod of e to the power iota theta k plus 1 minus 1 now this is 1 so we can write mod of zk plus 1 minus zk will be this mod of e to the power iota theta k plus 1 minus 1 now this is under root of cos theta k plus 1 minus 1 square plus sin theta k plus 1 square now this is cos square theta plus sin square theta which is 1 so it will be 2 into 1 minus cos theta k plus 1 and this is 2 sin theta k plus 1 by 2 and we know that sin theta is always less than equal to theta so it will be less than or equal to theta k plus 1. Now if we take this summation z k plus 1 minus z k will be less than this summation theta k plus 1 and this summation theta is nothing but this is 2 pi that means the statement p it is correct. So some of these modulus will be less than or equal to 2 pi. Now what about q? Now for q what we'll do is we'll first find mod of zk plus 1 plus zk now this is mod of zk upon mod of zk plus 1 upon zk plus 1 now this is 1 and it is e to the power iota theta k plus 1 plus 1 now again if we continue in this way it will be 1 plus cos theta k plus 1 so this value will be 2 cos theta k plus 1 by 2 now we multiply them then we can write mod of z k plus 1 square minus z k square will be equal to 4 sin theta k plus 1 by 2 into cos theta k plus 1 by 2 or 2 sin theta k plus 1 and will be less than or equal to 2 theta k plus 1. Now again if we take this summation z k plus 1 square minus z k square will be less than or equal to 2 times this summation theta k plus 1 and which is nothing but which is 4 pi so that means this statement q is also correct. 
So the correct option is this option C, both P and Q are true.